Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view your connection? How do they view you? What do they think about you? What do they wish they could tell you? And what are their intentions at this time? We're gonna look at all of that today. All right, let's get into this. For Cancer, for the sign of Cancer. Let's see what we have for you, Cancer. Okay, we got number five, mature man. First card out. This could be um, a masculine energy that is obviously older, mature, wiser. Um, it could also be a person in a position of authority. It could be a parent, a partner, a friend. What else? Distant horizons, number 36. So this is a card about... Um, like dreams becoming reality. Let me look at the keywords for that one. All of these cards have so many meanings. Dreams, hopes, wishes, sailing to a new shore, far away places, um, opening your mind, developing new ideas. dreams and fantasies. So there's something that perhaps you or another person is hoping for when it comes to this connection. Um, some of you, I feel this mature man energy is in the way, but I'm not a hundred percent. Like, I don't feel like that's for everyone, but I do, I do sense that, you know, it's almost like there's disapproval. Some of you could be um, living at a distance from this person. This person could be thinking about traveling just because I see a globe here next to this gentleman. You see there's like a globe next to him. And so there could be travel involved here. We'll see. We'll see what the tarot has to say. Tell me more spare for cancer. For the sign of cancer. What do you what do they need to know when it comes to love relationships? Who or what is coming towards cancer? All right, let's see what we get for you, cancer. In the recent past, we have judgment. In your energy, we have the Four of Cups reversed with the knight of wands reversed so i feel like the um, there's been kind of a change of heart here i feel like you're checking out because something hasn't happened or someone hasn't been reliable something having to do with um, maybe somebody that has not been faithful or says one thing but does another i feel like you are changing your mind because of this or having a change of heart because of this we'll see in the present we have the eight of pentacles reverse and the four of pentacles reverse in their energy the sun reverse and the ten of cups and the near future the star reverse aquarius energy there interesting There's something um, that's not really clear when it comes to your person. In their energy, you have the sun reversed. So it's almost like there's something that isn't, hasn't been brought to the surface or isn't clear, isn't out in the open. We'll see. Now in the present, I find this very interesting. The eight of pentacles reverse. Something's not working. Someone's not putting in enough effort. Um, Something might not be working out in this connection. Let's start with the past though. Judgment. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here for cancer?
Knight of Swords. Interesting, there's, there's been some sort of awakening here due to a certain truth or message. Maybe someone's waking up to um, the truth of something with the Knight of Swords and Judgment. Someone could be making a judgment call based off of uh, a truth or some sort of communication here. Can I get one more for judgment? Five of Swords. Interesting. This could have led to conflict um, or perhaps someone said something that they regret that they might want to take back here. I'm also getting, um, it's almost like maybe this cleared up some sort of deception or something that was unfair to you or someone else. This is what happened in the recent past. Of course, time is fluid, so keep that in mind. This could have already happened, be happening right now or happen in the near future. Judgment. Judgment is a card about revival, resurrection, awakenings. Evaluating the past, looking at the past, learning your lessons, and getting ready for the world, a new cycle. So I feel like there has been some sort of communication or truth that has maybe brought about some conflict here. Yeah, we got the Six of Swords that fell out here. A departure. Someone could be leaving all of this behind with the Six of Swords. I know a card also about traveling, so... Someone could be traveling here to deliver a message or leaving a situation after they've figured something out. Look at all these swords. Okay, so what happened here with the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? The High Priestess reversed. Interesting, something coming to light here, a secret revealed, some sort of revelation. Opening up here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Reverses could also be somebody ignoring their intuition. We'll see. What else can you tell me, Spirit, about this Eight of Pentacles? Through, oh no, Five of Pentacles reverse. It's at the bottom. I wanted to look at the bottom. Okay, Three of Pentacles reverse. Something is definitely not working out here. There could be um, a third party involved, but it doesn't really go with this. I don't know. It's almost like, um, tell me more about this Five of Pentacles reverse. Let me clarify this before I say that. Why is this Five of, okay, I don't want it to come out. Nine of Wands reverse. So, okay, so typically for me, the Five of Pentacles reverse is a card about recovery. It's a card about overcoming uh, financial difficulty, overcoming struggle. However, <laughs> sometimes it can mean being out in the cold indefinitely or refusing to do what it takes to have a recovery or overcome the struggle or someone that's perpetually feeling like they're stuck in this energy of struggle and loss, right? And then I have the Three of Swords reversed at the bottom. So I'm having, uh, and, then, and then the Nine of Wands reverses a card about like maybe like complete exha exhaustion. Um, this could be emotional exhaustion or physical health. Um, this could be that someone has given up completely on something. So all these cards together are telling me that there's definitely something that's not working out here, possibly due to a third party interference. And I feel like someone hasn't been able to have this recovery that they want or overcome this difficulty. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? And I feel it's because of this High Priestess reverse. So it's like either someone's ignoring their intuition or some sort of secret or mystery has been revealed. Let's see, why, why is this five, uh, Four of Pentacles reverse? Three of Pentacles reverse, okay. Very similar energy to the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? The Magician reverse, you see what I'm saying? Something's not working. Something's not working out here. Something is not being able to manifest. And with the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Magician reverse, this could also be a message about a manipulative energy 
in the form of a person being involved here in some way. Why the magician reverse? Why the magician reverse? Eight of cups, another card about walking away. So I feel like someone has walked away from something that's not working um, or wanting to walk away from something that hasn't manifested. I'm picking up like this giving up energy and I also have it here with the star reverse. Something feels hopeless. Someone's losing faith or hope in maybe a dream they had. Someone wants to let go of this, whatever this is. Um, I have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, so it's almost like they want to move forward. They uh, perhaps are looking for uh, a lucky opportunity or for luck to be on their side because I feel like luck hasn't been on their side so far. Something here is definitely not working out. It's That's the message that I keep getting. So let's see how you're feeling about each other. Spirit, tell me more about Cancer and this other person. What are their energies at this time? Tell me about Cancer. What is Cancer's energy when it comes to this connection? Tell me about Cancer's energy. Okay, we got Burning Passion and I want this one too. Wedding Bells. Bottom of the deck, the tower card, unexpected event. Passion, intimacy, chemistry, and marriage commitment union. Something happened here in a, in a long-term commitment. I don't know if this is um, the energy that, like, maybe you're the one in a long-term commitment that was very passionate, something that you desperately wanted or desired. Maybe this is what you wanted was a commitment here that led to something stable. Um, but I feel like there was a tower moment that affected this. Um, if this isn't your energy, this is what you're thinking about when it comes to your person. And, you know, Cancer, for the, your recent readings in the last couple months, there's this, like, persistent energy about marriage and commitment. So someone that is already in a commitment. Um, keeps coming up. Let's see. What about your person? Tell me about Cancer's person. What are their energies at this time? Cancer's person, please. Hidden feelings, silence, suppression, fear. Well, that makes sense because they have the sun reverse. Remember what I said? There's something that's not, that's like hidden here. Not out in the open. Can I get one more for this person? Wishing well, wish, desire, request. So this person's also having, maybe this is the person that has a hope or a wish, a desire. But for some reason, they could be hiding their true desires here. I have the bottom of the deck, strong bonds, family, union, partnership. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. So this is what I'm getting for both of your energies. Let's clarify. But I feel like someone's hiding their true desires here or their true uh, wish. Uh, they're hiding something, basically. We're going we're gonna to try to figure out what that is. Let me move these over so I can have some room to clarify. We'll start with you, Cancer. Now, Cancer, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. All right, Spirit, tell me about this Four of Cups reverse. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Two of Swords. And notice how in this particular deck, it's like a duel or a conflict. So this is reminding me of the Five of Swords. And the Knight of Wands reverse with this. It could be that someone, um, you know, I'm getting the, the message of someone being um, upset. Even though the Two of Swords is normally a card about a difficult decision. Maybe someone knows they have to make a difficult decision and making that decision could lead to some sort of conflict. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. Three of Swords reverse again. Look at all these swords. I feel like these two are connected. 
Can I get one more, please, for the Four of Cups reverse? Whoa, that is way too many, but look what wanted to come out. Seven of Swords, and then I also got all these other cards. The Nine of Swords, too. Then I have the Seven of Pentacles reverse with the Six of Pentacles reverse. So again, like a bad investment, something that hasn't grown or manifested, something that's in, uh, uh, not in balance, not fair. I'm going to put these back because there's too many of them, but I wanted to look at them. M look at all these swords. I feel like there's some sort of mental battle, something to do with communication. Can I get one more, please, for this Four of Cups reverse? Three of Wands reverse. Another three reverse. I have the Three of Pentacles reverse, Three of Swords reverse, Three of Wands reverse. So I feel like that message wants to come through some sort of interference here this person got tired of waiting or is has very frustrated and patient energy um if you hear the noise in the background it's rain okay <laughs> i love the sound of it but you know some people are sensitive to sound so i just wanted to warn you um yeah i feel like this is someone that has had a change of heart maybe they waited too long for something maybe they know it's time to make a difficult decision um Maybe this decision is regarding two people, two, two st very different situations. Uh, the Three of Swords reverse is telling me there's some sort of um, interference. I'm not reading that as healing. Okay, the Queen of Swords and the Emperor reverse. Yikes. Two very difficult people. <laughs> this is very difficult energy. Aries energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, and uh, Gemini energy. So I have a feeling that someone has hardened them, themselves. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Ten of Wands, yes. So whatever this situation has been, it, it's been a burden, an obligation, a weight. And the Seven of Swords came back out. So... Yeah, this is someone that maybe was deceptive, said one thing, did another, could have been unfaithful. Um, I feel like it's just been a, a burden here. And I feel like all of this has cost you to change your mind about this person or realize something about this person. Maybe they were sneaky, you know, uh, not dependable. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh cheating or lying uh specifically but someone that you know maybe their intention is not to screw up all the time but it ends up happening anyway take it as it resonates okay so let's see why is the sun reverse what's this about i feel it's connected to a family situation or something to do with emotions here with the ten of cups why is the sun the sun reverse why is the sun reverse the Empress Reverse. Why is the Sun Reverse? The Empress Reverse is another card for me about putting all your eggs in the wrong basket. Um, not being able to manifest abundance or you're delayed from manifesting abundance, from having something grow or expand, from creating something. Maybe you're trying to create something that is not meant to grow. The Emperor's Reverse could also be a card about a jilted lover, someone who has been wronged, left behind. Well, my cards are going crazy. Hang on. Uh, someone who's not happy. Could be somebody who is, uh, what's the word that I'm thinking of? Smothering. Too involved because they're so, they're wanting to control the outcome here. Tell me about the Sun Reverse. Here's the sun reverse, this one. Page of Wands, again with communication. Um, but in this card, in this deck specifically, notice how this person looks like they're waiting for something. See how they have like their hand over their eye, looking at the distance, like trying to see if something's coming in. I feel like this person has kept someone waiting just because of the other energy that I'm picking up here. Maybe they're waiting for a response to a message. Chariot reverse. See, there's, there's no there's no movement. There you are, Cancer, by the way. Your own energy showing up here. There's a feeling of being stuck, not moving, not progressing. 
and then I have the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So de definitely no movement. Um, this is very interesting. So something I feel isn't growing, manifesting. Um, this person could be unhappy, you know, with the sun reverse. Typically for me, it's a card about the sun being blocked in some way. So there's no more light, no more clarity, no more radiance. Could also be a sun, a, a, a symbol for bad news or unhappiness. But I just don't know. I just don't know if that's the message because I have the ten of cups down here. I don't know. I feel it's more about. And then I got the hidden feelings card. So it's almost like someone's really hiding something. And it could even be that they're hiding the fact that they're not making a move, that they're not planning to. Um, you know, Page of Wands is typically a card about taking the first steps towards something, um, trying to communicate with, ex you know, there's excitement, passion, creativity, right? But then I have these other two cards, the Empress Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. It's like they're canceling out all of the energies the Page of Wands typically brings. So what I'm, one of the messages that I'm getting here is that maybe there's a lot of communication, but no action behind it. Or perhaps the only action someone can take is to communicate. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What's this about? And in this deck in particular, the Ten of Cups is such a card about family. Okay, we got Strength, Leo Energy. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords. Two very different cards once again. Bottom of the deck, I have the Tower unexpected events, something surprising, jolting, something that comes crumbling down. So I feel like this is someone that's trying to control a situation, but there's fear here. Perhaps there's fear because they are not wanting to cause a tower or they're anxious over a possible tower, something like that. And especially in this deck, the strength card is very much a card about control and strength. Typically, the strength card is a card about submiss, like being able to, um, being able to use a more laid back approach to controlling a situation, um, using compassion and empathy to bring something back into balance, right? Rather than using force and rather than trying to force things, strength is very different. Um, the message of, of the strength card. But in this particular deck, look at this image for the strength card. This is someone using brute force here. It's almost like they're trying to control a situation out of fear, or they're trying to be brave out of fear, which is kind of strange. I feel all of this is connected to a tower. You're scared of a tower or wanting to avoid a tower or something like that. Can I get one more for this strength card? Could also be a Leo. Tell me more about this strength card. Two of Wands, a choice, a path being chosen, waiting once again. Interesting. This could be um, courage, having courage to make a choice or having to choose a path in order to bring something back into balance or, or restore control over a situation. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? The Moon, Pisces Energy. Again, with like the mystery, the hidden... Uh, secrets, um, uh, this, cho this choice, someone maybe is not talking about it or is thinking about it in secret, or maybe there's doubt, confusion over a certain path that they're choosing, especially with the nine of swords here. It's almost like someone knows that they have to make a choice, but they, they're, they're like talking themselves out of it or letting their mind kind of get the best of them here. So let's look at the near future. Uh, let's look at the near future here, the star reverse. Why is the star reverse? Aquarius energy here. Something needs a lot of healing or someone is losing faith or hope in something. 
Oh, okay, so we have the Eight of Swords reverse. So finally, something where someone is maybe overcoming their fear or seeing a way out of their situation. But then there's the full reverse. So hesitations, delays, having to be reckless in a decision, a delayed new beginning, Ten of Swords reverse, yikes. So this is all about overcoming a difficult ending, overcoming difficulty, uh, overcoming fear. But once again, it's almost like this is someone that's battling with themselves or it's like it's like black and white. Like there's opposites here, you know, just like there's opposites here with the strength card and the Nine of Swords. 